Hi, everyone. Welcome to our talk. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's get right into things. Do a mitzvah, one more mitzvah. It's a big mitzvah. These are all lines I'm sure you've heard before. What is a mitzvah? You may be thinking a mitzvah is a commandment. You may be thinking a mitzvah is a good deed. But is that really what a mitzvah is? Tonight, we hope to uncover the real meaning of what a mitzvah is and come to understand and appreciate the value in doing a single mitzvah. Most people understand the 613 mitzvot as being 613 commandments that God commanded the Jewish people. But in truth, the word mitzvah stems from the Aramaic word tzavsa, which means connection. How does one connect to another? A human being can connect to his fellow human being by doing what he or she would like. Your wife likes flowers, you buy her flowers, and now you've just connected to her on some level. That's all as far as connecting to another person, another finite being who possesses the same means of communication, the same tools of communication as yourself. But how do we connect to God? A human being can't get higher than his own head, no matter how high he jumps, because his head jumps together with him. We are finite human beings. God is infinite. We can't just buy God flowers. It doesn't work that way. So if that's the case, how do we connect and go from finite to infinite? The tools that we have are finite tools. What's the bridge? How do we reach God? Good question. The answer is that we can't reach and connect to God the same way that we would reach and connect to another human being. Our tools and our means of communication and connection, they're finite. Finite can't reach infinite. So yeah, an individual may feel that he or she is connected as a result of whatever they decide God wants, but that's only from that person's perspective. A basic example, you buy your friend a cup of coffee because that's what you like and you completely disregard the fact that she only drinks tea. I mean, what kind of connection is that? In a very simple sense, to really connect, we need to focus on what the other person would appreciate. It's not just about you. If this is true between two finite beings who do use the same tools of communication, then how much more so when we want to connect to a infinite God. That connection can only be in the way that God prescribed. Yeah, we could do a lot of nice things, but the connection is not there. There's only one way to connect to God, and he told us how. And that is through the fulfillment of mitzvot and the study of Torah. By doing mitzvot, as God tells us he would like us to perform them. The essence of a mitzvah is God stretching out his hand and asking us to shake it. Yes, many people interpret mitzvot as commandments, but in truth, mitzvot are God's way of extending himself to us so we can communicate and connect with him. Without that extension, we simply cannot reach. If this is the case, it's self-understood that if we perform mitzvot because we want to connect to him, we have to go to a place where his hand is extended. Because only there do we have the ability to bridge the gap to the infinite. And that place is Torah and mitzvot as he tells us he would like us to perform them. That is the only medium to rise above and connect to the infinite. If we are to, dis to decide what and how we would like to perform mitzvot, it may feel good. However, we're lacking the essential point of what it is really all about. We're missing that connection. It's like dialing a phone number. If you dial it correctly, you can connect to the person you want to call. If you switch around the order of the numbers or you remove a number and add a different number, you're not going to get through. This is what it means to be a post Mount Sinai Jew. At Mount Sinai, we receive the Torah with all the mitzvot. But before the giving of the Torah, some people did observe mitzvot. So what really changed that Mount Sinai? 
Yes, mitzvot were done before Mount Sinai. However, the physical objects were not infused with godliness. As it's known, our forefather Jacob would use sticks to put on tefillin with, and he would dispose of those sticks after performing the mitzvah. How was this okay? The sticks themselves were not holy. Spiritual was spiritual and physical remained physical. So after the mitzvah was done, the sticks didn't retain any holiness. When Mount Sinai came around, God said, I want to have a connection. Up until this point, the heavens were mine and the earth was given to man. There was no bridge between heaven and earth. God said, enough of that. Now let's close the gap. Let the spiritual worlds descend to the physical world and let the physical worlds ascend to the spiritual world. And that is exactly what took place on Mount Sinai. God descended onto Mount Sinai. And that is why the revelation was so tremendous. Mount Sinai was the point where God said spirituality can infuse and affect physicality and physicality can affect spirituality. And that is the purpose of Torah mitzvot. This is the prescription for the connection. Now a physical object can become holy. Mount Sinai was the point where God did away with commandments and created a connection. This was the novelty of Matan Torah. We were given 613 opportunities for connection through using our physical finite tools. Now we have a mission, a purpose. Let's make this physical world into a spiritual abode for God. So if you want to be a modern Jew, you must be a post Mount Sinai Jew, dialing properly into the connection that was given to us at Mount Sinai. This concept didn't exist before Mount Sinai. So living with this concept means being a modern Jew. Based on all this, we can understand and appreciate the value of a single mitzvah. Each and every opportunity that a Jew is presented with to connect is exactly that. It's an opportunity to connect to God. You didn't put on tefillin yesterday? That doesn't take away from tomorrow's opportunity for connection. You don't light Shabbos, Shabbat candles weekly? This week, you have an invaluable opportunity to connect. Non-observant? That doesn't affect your ability to connect to the infinite by doing an infinite act now. Mount Sinai is God extending his hand and asking us to shake it. Be a modern Jew, a post-Sinai Jew, and shake God's hand every time it's extended. Trust me, you won't regret it.